Okay. What's up guys, today we're gonna be checking out the behind the scenes of special effects in movies. This is what movies look like without special effects, like the behind the scenes footage of the Avengers, Man of Steel, Pirates of the Caribbean, and so much more. So apparently the entire Pirates of the Caribbean set was all on blue screen. Look at that, there's no ocean, they're just in a giant pool with a blue screen. That's insane. Oh, and then they just fall on a mat? How'd they do the sharks? It's all CGI. That is actually amazing. Here's how they did the effects in Spider-Man. So apparently Tom Holland is just on this crazy contraption that just like spins him around. Look at those big blue blocks. This looks like so much fun. Like this looks like so much fun of a movie to film. So here's the behind the scenes of the Quicksilver scene in X-Men. Evan Peters, what a guy. Look at him, he's just running on a blue treadmill and he has a, a fan just blowing at him. Look at him. <laughs> What a legend. This is how they do motorcycle chase scenes. They have men in green suits pushing people around. Oh my gosh, wow. I don't know why I thought that these were filmed in real life for some reason, but that makes a lot of sense. You don't want to hurt your actors. So all the Spider-Man jumps were done on a blue screen and then uh, they had a bunch of steel cable on him. That's really sick. Wow, look at all that. I think this was Tom Holland. Whoa, so if they have like a car flipping, they just have it on a giant blue screen. I wanna see the behind the scenes of this. Oh, so they just got it on a blue screen and then they have the whole bottom part of the set all composed. Dude, this is amazing. So now we got Loki on a dragon. I don't remember what he was riding in this movie. Oh, a Pegasus. Dang, that is some crazy After Effects. There's a lot that go into those Marvel movies, man. Dang, that's intense. It's beautiful. So apparently in the life of Pi, he never even saw the tiger in real life. He was always filmed on a separate scene. It's actually really dangerous to have a live tiger next to children, who would have thought, you know? So uh, everything is actually fake. That tiger is a blue screen stuffed animal. Wow, that's crazy. Guys, believe it or not, Captain America did not hold the helicopter down using his bare strength. That wasn't real. Apparently that was on a green screen too. I would have never thought, you know? Apparently they just remake scenes. Like they just, they just cut everything out around it and then they just make it way different. Look at, now this mansion looks way different. The lion from the wolf on Wall Street? Yeah, they never even saw that in real life either, apparently. Are you gonna tell me that this movie wasn't actually filmed in space? What? This is insane. I can't believe, oh, whoa, they put, the suit on them afterwards? The suit is CGI? So in this, believe it or not, Godzilla was not actually there. It was all roto painted in, uh, but he did save the day in the movie. Believe it or not guys, in Jurassic World, the dinosaurs were fake. I know, some of them were puppets. Look at this poor guy. Why does he look naked? Why is he not wearing clothes? That's a crazy back tattoo, do you see that? So all this is CGI? You're telling me that all these dinosaurs are fake. What, this is what they look like? All the Velociraptors were just dudes with Velociraptor hats on their head, and then they were just painted on afterwards. That's crazy. All the grass was painted. Even the grass was fake. So apparently in the movie Onward, they used a green screen guy uh, in pants for the dad. That's pretty fun. So they used like motion tracking for the dad. So these are some VFX from uh, one of my favorite movies that came out this last year called Everything Everywhere All at Once. Uh, really good movie, highly recommend. But they used a lot of crazy video effects and they only used five people apparently. But apparently they had Jamie Lee Curtis just on these wires when she was like flying across the room. Isn't that crazy? They just have the seven year old woman just flying everywhere. Apparently the pit in 300, all green screen. Wow, I, I, I would have thought that that was a real pit. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like so much fun to just fall into a giant green screen pit though. Guys, so apparently in The Wizard of Oz, everything in this last scene is just cut up into a giant collage. So they have the yellow brick road and then they have the fields and then they have uh, the castle. I thought it was a real place, guys. Here's a little behind the scenes video from uh, It. There's Pennywise, apparently they're restapling his head back on because it got damaged. Scary stories to tell in the dark. So this is what they look like without the costume on. This is them still getting put together. That's pretty spooky. That's what it looks like afterwards. Ew, disgusting. 
Ew! So apparently they used VFX to make spiders crawl out of this girl's skin. Ugh. So apparently in Chucky, they used a real child actor to run around and be Chucky. Dang, I thought it was just like a puppet. Oh, that's so spooky. Well, that was pretty fun. Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite VFX video was. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give a big old thumbs up. Look some of this fight right down there. Make sure to check out my last video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.